won't say it till he's here.
if it weren't this thing. And you that buy the prophecy, you are not receive it. We're going to receive the offering. Because you, it is unlawful to come for a prophet that a gift. And I want to come back to Papa Randall and Pastor Walker later on, maybe in the fall, and have a prophetic Sunday. Not a service of revival type preaching, but of, of direction. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back and talk about prophetic pitfalls. What happens when your word don't come to pass? What happens when you get a number in a date of a year of a month and don't happen? I've got some answers for you. Now, how about me tell you, tell you, you about a husband and he never comes? Yeah. How about somebody who had prophecies passed away and you say it didn't really happen with them? They're gone. I've got some answers. Can't do a shower. Yeah, sit down and talk and have a song. I'm gonna bring some tables and microphones. We can sit down and talk. Let you ask some questions. You don't like that. Let's get it off your chest. I gave you one. I gave you that. I ain't seen that. Should I give again? I want to help you. I got so many places to go with so many damaged people. Tricks. And sometimes you see them, you say, that's a trick. I ain't doing nothing. That's a, that's a scam. And you can hear so much, you say, oh, Another prophecy, another offering. But don't you let the enemy damage you with the weakness of somebody. Stay with the principles. They stay with the principles of spiritual laws. Come on, little man. live a long time and not be sick. But the Holy Ghost is removing infirmities and sickness and diseases from me. And I shall live and have good health. Come on. Come on. Say to your audience. Say to your audience. Say to your audience. Speak to your blood. Woo! I know your woman. Say to your muscles. Come on, somebody. 
says that we'll move on. I said, went home. My pet in mind. None of us are staying. But we can live while we're here. But not in fear. In peace. Grace in all my life is knowing him. Isn't that a great thing? Isn't that a great thing? Is knowing the Holy Ghost. to me is more in this prophetic presbytery and impartation he would challenge some of you to give two hundred dollars I met a man that paid eighty one thousand dollars for a car and what's wrong with that as long as you give God eighty one thousand dollars You might have a nice house, but don't put more on you. You're going to put it in the ministry. That people think it's too much. Look at that! The first thing you hear today, right now, shine. And, I, I, and I, I want all the giving today to be secret giving. Hold on, line. You know, she gave this so so you don't be counting. I'm gonna be on count today. Yay! Raise your hands. Keep playing that. The Holy of those is, is impressing on me. You as I speak. The person you hear this today, you got to sow two thousand. To a woman in Lynchburg, Virginia. She had about three or five dollars held up. I said, every time you see me woo! in Virginia, in Norfolk, in Lynchburg, I'm going to give you two thousand dollars. Every time she saw me, woo! she gave me two thousand dollars. God loses every bit of that money. She had to build a house over in America, Georgia, on 10 acres. Had to build a house on 10 acres to keep from paying the IRS. That's it. And take it to money. I'm going to pray. Other than you, I want you to share a hundred dollars. And I'm going to deal with you according to your faith and your spirit. Your pressure. I believe as God did with the occasion to give thousands, y'all will do it too. But I think we should, we should be, be delivered from gimmicks. Pressure giving, tricks and scams. Yay! I'm not going to get ripped off. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you now because you're calling them to give in the overflow. And if they write to check out the word of the Lord from the voice of the prophet, I use a credit card. Have they sow the seed? You honor them. I decree over this body. Speak it in Jesus' name. And it is so. I want everybody at this time prepare your offer. The envelope, raise your hand there, we'll assist you. I'm doing this like this here. So the next, next time I come, you won't stay at home. Woo! I got 
Gusnice. Write the check. We just charge them. The greatest thing. I want you, when you get your offering prepared, you get it ready, I want you to break it and lay it on the altar and worship and walk away. Let me hear that music. Prepare your offering. Give it at the altar and worship and walk away. Don't wait on nobody. Tell them, excuse me, let me back. I need to worship. And you on the periscope, if you want to give and soak into this, you showers of blessings. Dot org. Come take me again. Come make sure you get it right. Greater showers of blessings. Go online and leave the scene. Drop it here and worship. Credit card that's seated. Come on, sword and worship. Don't wait on the body. Sword and worship. No, don't rush off. Sword and worship. We lay it, lay it here. Lay it here. Sword and worship. I want you that's right. Worship on yourself. Lord in worship. Those of you that are watching by stream, there's a donate button on there. You can go to the donate button and you want to donate. You can donate if you want to give. You can give if you're streaming. Just scroll down. You'll see the donate button and you can donate and be a part of this offering. No amount no amount is too small or too little to help us take these conferences and meetings. All over the country, as God has given the property to do so. You can't donate. Hit that donate button. God bless you. Come on. The greatest thing in all my life.
every muscle, every fiber of your being. We speak the healing power of God. We command your faith to respond. Run on my nose. Because we agree for healing. A peace of mind. Every thought in divine order. I cancel fear. I cancel unbelief. I drive you away. I drive away every tormenting spirit that tormented this man. And I release the power of God. Now speak to me. You're not alone. The Lord is with you. What a word. God will forsake you not. And he come to heal you. What a And make you whole. In the name of Jesus. And so I release you to praise him. I release you to pray. Praise those hands and praise him. Come on, children, to praise him. We will not command you to be made whole. What's up, Lord? Come on, stay here.
and just keep it light and move. You ready? Family. I mean, to just unravel it and totally 
dismantle your family, people everywhere, minds everywhere, beliefs everywhere, things that they do as a child, things they were trained up, they have a family. But God said because you stayed the course, you're going to be the way by which God's going to bring family reunion. Reunite your family, your daughters, your siblings, cousins, and nieces, and nephews are going to get back to the legacy that God has placed upon this family. God told me to tell you that he's going to give you a burst of energy. There's going to be a burst, a divine burst, supernatural burst of energy because you have a defiant spirit. Everybody got a shot. God put a defiant spirit in you that defies the laws of this world. And God said because you have resisted, God's going to cause an awakening and a burst of energy to take place in your life. Almost like a second wind. And God's going to clothe your mind. Clothe your mind with life and clothe your mind with visions and close your mind with opportunity and forecast of greater days and brighter days and a clear future and god said resist those things that be not like him because this is a day of bursting forth in your life in jesus name In this meeting have been destroyed and the burden is being lifted and the spirit of inspiration and insight is going down. Not just prophetically, 
but just in your prayer time and your conversing and communicating with God, Him impressing certain things upon your heart. God told me to tell you that your best days, and I know that sounds general, are ahead of you, but there is a visitation that's coming to your life. There is a God visitation that's coming and it's happening right now and breaking forth in your body and in your limbs. Oh. I see God getting a hold of a man that you're praying for a man and God's going to revive him and he's going to fulfill the will of God for his life. I'm not a my shot. God said he strayed, but he couldn't stray far enough. Because my hand is a long hand. And God is reaching out. And the more you pray, the longer God's hand does. And the mercy kept him from death. Kept him from destruction. God kept him because of your prayer. And that's why the enemy came after your body. Because he wanted to get your focus off the end of seeing and praying. But God said, I sent angels to minister to you at 3, 2, at 1 o'clock in the morning. They would stand around your bed and then I'm outside and they would minister. But God said, there's a visitation that's happening with you right now. And he said, there's going to be a sprinkling forth in your life. Your mind is going to be resolute and sharp. You will not suffer dementia. You will not have Alzheimer's. Your memory will not fail. And the other side, he shall keep your mind in perfect peace. Because your mind is going to be stayed on him in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. The power of God. Across the 
world become known on my side. Get ready. Your name will be known because of the books that come up out of you, saith the Lord. And we thank you. Here's one right here. Come on, give me praise. The effective leader. He condo the effective leader. But this is one of many, the Lord says. It's in you. Now let it come out of you, saith God. And we thank you. Is this mine? Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ready? ready. The Spirit of the Lord says that there is, and the best way that I can say it, I'm trying to think of a more professional word, but I can't think of one right now. But there's payback coming for you. There's validation for the ministry that's in you. Hondo, you are one who proclaims the word of the Lord. But unfortunately, it has all, not always been validated or, or, or held to. But God says, continue to speak as I lead you. Continue to speak what you hear, said the Lord. And the Lord says, and I will validate that. And I will bring you before great men and great women. He, it, it appears to them that you spent time on the back side of the desert. It appears that you have been lost in the house. The Lord says, I'm bringing your voice up and I'm bringing your voice out. Prophet. Yes, Lord. Slow your roll, prophet. I'm bringing your voice up and I'm bringing your voice out. And I'm healing you from the hurt of the past. I'm healing you from the spirit of rejection. You had silent hurt. And you held it. Be a woman. And the Lord says, I'm healing you today. Today is the beginning of your healing. Your spirit has been wounded. But God said, I validate you today. Press it out. Ah, receive it. Ah, and it is so. Yeah. And it is so. I hear the Lord say, Don't give up on me because I haven't given up on you. Don't give up on me because I haven't given up on you. I see God, I see your mind. I see like your brain, I see your mind. And I hear God saying that he's renewing your mind. He's renewing your mind. Right on across your forehead, I see the word anger, anger, just anger. Angry about a lot of things, anger. Sometimes to the point where you're angry with yourself, about being angry because you don't want to be angry. And how do I, how do I, how do I get out of this? How do, he said, because I'm renewing your mind. And he's going to renew your mind by the word of God. I hear this in my mind and in my spirit. Your situation is not your destination. But it is a process that God is taking you through to bring you to the place that you were ultimately born to be in. Some of the things that have happened because of your own choices. But God said, even in that, I'm taking them, incorporating them, and making them work for the good. What's been hard for you is not going to be hard in 2016. The struggle that you had, the vices that you had to deal with, things you didn't tell nobody about suffered on the inside. God said it's not going to be like that in 2016. You're going to come into your own, those strongholds that came against you. And every time it looked like you were moving forward, pulled it back. God told me to tell you right now that the chains are broken. The chains are broken. Hallelujah. And you're going to walk into your destiny. I hear God say, forgive Forgive them and let it go. Forgive me. Forgive them and let go. Because the longer you hold on to that, it's connected to you. 
but that chain is broken on the day and because of that things are going to happen for you that didn't happen in 2015 things you went to try to conquer try to do didn't happen because God wanted to settle that that unforgiveness had to be tackled and dealt with so you can move on with your life you're no longer a hostage now you've been liberated and you can move to your purpose God's going to bless your hands and you're going to be able to do what it is that you were created to do and desire to do the business ideas, the creativity going to begin to come together and things are going to connect and it's not going to be difficult it's not going to be hard because you are a man of distinction you are a man's man your word is who you are and God put that in you and this is your time this is your season and this is your day in Jesus name somebody praise God Holy Ghost oh, said you didn't fail Holy Ghost said you didn't fail you were under attack because you're a carrier and God has spoken to you and you came under severe attack of the enemy trying to wipe you out but the Holy Ghost said, I'm going to bring everything back that you lost. I'm going to give you double for your trouble. Break the kiss. Take the shame away. I am Moses. What's up, Moses? I'm going to bring you now. Raise your hand to the Lord of God. I'll be Shakama. Shakama, a nation of women. I'll be Shakama, a nation of women. That you should train. I give you this word earlier. God has made your mother Israel. And to give birth. I the Holy Ghost said, I'm going to give you presents. But to take you. The call said, I'm not the gift of God in you to be expressed. And you shall speak. But today I'm activating, activating in you the prophetic. But only when you speak will you shall prophesy. But I hope that you shall walk out. I speak the word of the Lord. And it shall manifest. You shall swim the yoke to break the chain of women. For I'm sending you to the women. I'm sending you to the women. And now I open the door. And I give you the wisdom. And the Holy Ghost said, I'm giving I'm you mentors. <laughs> and you shall flow. Be not afraid to speak. Or to go forward. And I, I cancel every intimidation <laughs> of the devil. I cast out every lie, every false act of excitement that came over you and came into your thought life. And I speak prosperity within your midst. And I speak a word of protection over your children and your grandchildren. It shall be well. I hear God say, You got work to do. Woo! work to do. Woo! And I'll bring you out to pay you. Woo! For the Lord. statements that God wants to come out of your mouth to be able to be have access, women can have access to them. Pearls of wisdom. I, I hear that and I also hear a, a prayer CD praying. Hallelujah. A prayer CD praying that people are going to listen to and going to bless their lives all over the country all around the world, but that pearls of wisdom resonates real strong. So look into that. See how God gives you about that. But I see that, that CD with pearls of wisdom. The 
Lord allowed me, my sister, to come to this meeting uh, today for healing. Not necessarily physical healing, but there's the emotional inner healing that the standard of need of. And I'm glad my brother from the cops in my house came to stand with me today. Because we're going to lay hands on you, conduit of the box. And the words the enemy has spoken into your life and over your life that has come to destroy you. Give up. And to make you doubt yourself, or the Lord says, I'm turning all that around for you today. Your, your, your self worth is coming up, and your self esteem, your spiritual self esteem. The Lord says, I'm raising today. Let it work for you to do. Be kind of, I have need of you in the kingdom. And the enemy sought to destroy you, to, to destroy the gift of God. I need you to hear me, hear me very clearly. There's a gift of God resident in you. And the value of the prophetic is that we can, we stir gifts. And we activate, that's the word, we activate gifts in you. And this gift that's in you has have, have been peaking, but because of the words that have been spoken, it's set on it, and it caused you to retreat. And the Lord says, I have no pleasure in him that draw back. He and, and, and from this day forward, you shall not draw back, saith God, but you shall go forward, forward in me, in Jesus' name. I'll leave your hand right there. Because of what you've been through and what God has brought you out of, and you're still on your way out. You're still on your way out. But God told me to tell you that your past, the things of your past, God said He's forgiven you. Now you gotta forgive yourself. There, there is there is a spirit of depression and oppression that really comes from witchcraft that follows you to come after your mind, particularly at night, late at night, restlessness where you can't sleep, fear that comes to torment you. But today, my brother, God's gonna set you free because fear, I found out, is not something that's necessary. And God is gonna set you free. You will not be tormented anymore. I come against every spirit. I come against contact with negative spirits. I come against uh, impartations from negative spirits from people that you were around that were practicing occultism and ungodliness. The God of our salvation set you free, my brother. You will not be tormented. You are liberated. Hey, Say to the Lord, rebuke you. We can the devil out the wheel. We got the devil out the mind. Uh -huh. And then you are set free in Jesus' name. That everything that's not like God has to leave right now. Open up the door and decree it and declare it and tell it it has to leave right now in Jesus' name. You hear me? Father Lord and Church.
Push your hands. The hand of God on your life for the good, and you've been through so many things the last month. And it has come to bring a spirit of depression and sit down on you and tell you, it's not going to work for me. Oh, shut down my life. When I go right, it's a situation. When I go left, it's a situation. But the Lord said, I am calling the high place to come down. And I'm working out a relationship situation. I've got my hand on it. I'm going to help you and show you what to do. I'm going to answer your prayer about your financial situation so you won't lose anything. Nothing shall be lost. But God said, I'm calling you under me. I to walk with me and come my way. Turn from that. Turn from them. And come this way. You heard my call. By speaking out to your commitment. That your answer will be yes. And that is completely yes. The Holy Ghost says to tell you, I'm erasing what happened in the past. Forget it. What else? And you must move forward. For the time of your coming forth is now. For the yoke shall be destroyed. And the burden is being removed. And the Holy Ghost said, I'm moving you away from the disappointment. And the heartaches and the rejection that you've experienced. It's a new day now. And the morning from this meeting shall rest with you. And the praise is shall rest with you. And you show up in the new place. And the Holy Ghost said, I'm going to do a new thing. Look at me. Concerning the opportunity with occupation. You're going to make more money. You never made. You're going to have life insurance. You're going to have health insurance. And it's going to work for you. But I'm coming in praise the money. Oh, I know. It's working in your favor. It's working in your favor. It's working in your favor. Come on, we're praise. The word of the Lord says, Bearing some, he calls us the high speak the cat. And everyone in this temple, King James says, speaks of his glory. I believe it's New King James says, say, says glory. Now, what am I saying? Well, Lord, this year, this year, is making your feet to be like high speak. Over these mountains, you're going to traverse and scale. And you're going to move with, there's going to be quick productivity. In your life this year. And the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. This will not be a year where you have to look behind you to see if what's behind you is coming back up to attack you. Not this year. The Lord says, I am your rear guard on this year. And I'm pushing you like the wind, like the east wind. I'm pushing you into quick success, quick productivity, and quick prosperity. The glory of the Lord. So the Bible says, and everyone in this temple says glory or speaks of this glory. The glory of the Lord is not just a good feeling to down your back, but the, and I'm not just so much from the Bible, but, but the, 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 uh, when uh, Jacob went to Laban, and Laban's son, and Jacob got ready to leave, Laban's son said that Jacob was leaving with all our father's glory. Boys, he leaving with all that cattle and all those resources. The glory of the Lord, Ando, shall be your rear guard, and you shall have way more this year, saith the Lord, than what you, th- what you thought you would have lost. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm returning it, and I am your rear guard. But don't be afraid, huh, this year. This will not be a year of fear, but this will be a year of great reward, saith the Lord, and your feet shall traverse and go over these mountains so, oh, oh. and your feet shall take you and you shall not lose said the Lord and we say thank you thank you receive it yes Lord receive it and we curse the 
It almost made it seem like you were odd, even as a child, like you were odd and different. And I don't want to say the black sheep of the family, but just odd. But that's because God has done something special on the inside of you. And you've been trying to search for this thing and trying to figure it out. But you haven't been in the kind of culture that was able to help you to identify what this is. And just at this season in your life, God is bringing you into a culture that's helping to identify this uniqueness about yourself that you have been able to put a handle on. And God said, this is the season where he's going to open up the supernatural to you. And it's not going to be foreign to you or unusual. You're going to find a comfort level with this kind of culture. And it's going to move you into places and cause you to take a course of action that you never would have taken in the, in the past because you're a very reserved kind of person. You're kind of like, you know, things got to be a certain kind of way. But he's going to launch you out into a realm of faith that you haven't, that you haven't explored before. And it's going to bring to you stuff that rightfully belong to you. And that's where these papers and documents and the approval that has been set on it. God said, I set an approval. Get ready for the unexpected. Get ready for the unusual. Get ready for that that seemed impossible. That would never happen to me. It's getting ready to happen to you. As a matter of fact, come on, Lisa, if they have it on that real quick right here, receive it in your heart because it's happening for you right now. He's putting it in your heart. He's changing your thinking and the power of God. You have passed the test. Yeah. It was a trying thing that you went through. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it brought pain to your spirit. But the Holy Ghost told me to tell you that you passed the test. And now you shall receive recompense. But I want to speak to you first about the activation of the faith within you. Yeah. And you shall speak. Yes. Yes. And he shall manifest. Yes. And you shall speak even to your family. Yes. And it shall manifest. So time that time. But I already told you I will use you to bring you forth. I already showed you Woo! that my hand upon your life is the good. And that's why I took you through the fire Woo! of affliction. And let those you thought that loved you were close. Thanks to that man. Put your name out this evil. Woo! Called you to forgive them. But I might part the Lord. Yes, I'm out. Within the head shot. And now I'm out. 
activate you to prophesy. I activate you to speak. I activate you to call those things. I activate you. I activate you to speak the word of the Lord. In our places. You can clap it and God will utter it. And that's the word of the Lord.
discerning of spirits. Whoa. Usually when you say you see it and you you do. But one of the things I'm gonna do, I'm going to when I lay hands and I wanna sharpen that gift. Because there's a thing you've gone blind to. And you better open up your eyes and hear the word of the Lord because trouble is coming around your gates. But the word of the Lord is in your mouth. And then when you see it, you got to say something. I see you say, you know, some just ain't right about this. Some ain't right about this. Some ain't right about this. You can't ignore that. Because the enemy wants to bring you and your family to a public shame. So not only am I going to activate the spirit of discernment, hallelujah. When I lay hands on you, you're going to begin to speak with boldness. The Lord says that my hand has been in your life from a child. And I've spared you. So you've experienced a lot, but I've spared you for more than what you've experienced, the Lord says. So today, as we lay hands on you, Receive the gift. Stir it, Lord. Stir
and it's going to be held in your name. It's going to be stripped in your bones. And it's going to cause something to quicken in your body. It's going to cause your mortal body to come alive. So there's a quickening in your body. So Father, in the name of quickening, it's sick out. And the whole shall have to the Lord of Shah. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Like you crazy. And I'll be crazy and I'll be going to bless you. I can hear what he said. God's got a thousand ways to get stuff to you. And once you keep that door open, it's going to rush in and overtake you. Because God's got blessings on his mind where you are concerned.
He worked on you because you were so close to the moment of God. Pastors and pastors' wives need people they can depend on. And you were that one she could depend on. So it wasn't against anything, it wasn't against anything, it wasn't against you personally. He just used the fact against you to get to her. Have you considered my servant Keisha? So he had took everything, but he couldn't take your life. And just like Joe lost everything, he still got it back. Prophesy. Believe it or not, he got double. Prophesy. You've not forgotten the Lord says. You were just a victim that got caught in the crosshairs. But with everlasting love, I love you. I love you, says the Lord. And I still have need of you. You allowed your emotions to get the best of you. And you made an emotional decision based on temporary data. But the Lord says, come home. Be restored. Be refreshed. Drink. Drink from fresh water, the Lord says. Drink. And be refreshed. Drink and be refreshed. My hand is in your life. The late Carmen Hargo used to say, I swear I'm going to bless you. I swear! When he couldn't swear by nothing else, he swore by himself. I swear I'm going to bless you. And I swear the promise I made to you and your children, I'm going to fulfill every promise. Get back in line. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive them that spoke against you. Oh, and I should say it like this, but I'm gonna say it like this anyway. My wife will be mad. But that's what niggas do. They speak against what they don't know nothing about. Let niggas run you out. But the Lord said, Come home, I have need of you. And I have space. Space for you. We're hoping. We're hoping. Say it the Lord. And we say thank you. There's a call. There's a call on your life. There's ministry inside of you and serving is bringing out the greatness of that ministry so the enemy wanted to move you out or to try to make you despise serving and he put the spirit of despisers around you because they despised the anointing that was on your life so they couldn't talk your way so they despised you but God told me to tell you, not just you, but your family, connected, your sisters, your mother, your cousins, connected because you're like the spiritual Abraham. And God called you out for the preservation of your family, for legacy and posterity, posterity. But God said, restoration is your life. 
and that God in all ways and cause all things to work together for your good. But I want to say to you that I hear you saying, God, if you do this, I'll do that. Forgive me, because if I had done it this way, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. But you can't self-will your recovery. You just have to submit, because it's already built into submission. So as you submit, recovery comes with submission. And that's where your restoration is. And I'm not shot. You can't take back what came out of your mouth, but you can speak new words. So God spared you, because the enemy meant to destroy you utterly. But God despaired, he spared you, and your recovery is still in process. But you're going to learn some things along the way. And I want you to catch this. What you went down with is not what you're coming up with. This is your leader. Yeah, he is. This is your man of God. <laughs> this is your covering. This is the word of God to your life and your restoration. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. And there's a miracle. You're not going. I don't see you with this. I see you walking, running your heels again. Oh Lord, and it is so. And I speak that into your mind. Get that in your spirit. Cause it is so. Get up of my shadow. Get up of my I see some money. And when you get it, I want you, not that you have it, go straight away to it and bless it. Every time God bless you, break him off, son. You don't have to tell nobody, hey, hey, I got it. God is doing something for you. You hear me? You hear me? God's doing that for you because He loves you. And what the enemy meant to be evil, hey, God's going to make it work for the good. The Lord says, I'm going to direct you about another stream of people. To make up the lack so I can remove that from your life. I'm going to direct you what to do and cause the creativity to occur in you and the will to say, I can't do this. But it happen. You're going to meet some people that's going to make your offer to be a part of something. And it's going to work. Holy Ghost said to me, tell you, say not in your heart that I can't do this. It's too hard for me. I can't do it. So you can't do it. Woo! And this opportunity will cause you to meet new and open new doors. God is about to give you a brand new set of people around. Opportunities and favors is the grateful, and that's the word of the Lord. Come on, give me praise. Some years ago, the Lord let me see that it's kind of strange. If I got this uncanny gift to lose tied up money. And the Lord told me to tell you, and, 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 and it ain't nothing, you know, spectacular. He just told me to ask the folk in the audience, the special that's way to you, say, loose my money. Woo! And it's, it's like a ribbon, a big ribbon being untied and flowing all around. You might, as an old, as an old, you just as well stuff. Get ready. Because that, that has been tied up. And it's not just money, but it's land. 
money land. Money land. Money land property. That is tied up. You might to get a you, you can't don't don't be throwing mail away that you don't recognize. Open every open every letter. Read your email. Because I see, I see, I see paperwork being shifted from one desk to another desk. And where it would, where it wasn't effective on one desk, I see it going to another desk, and they don't work for you. Get ready. Get ready. Your tax bracket. What they said, what gonna be? The Lord that I'm making it work in your favor. And we say thank you. And we say lift your hands, baby. Would y'all just say this with her? It ain't gonna hurt you, but it's gonna help her. Say, lift my money. In Jesus' name. And it is so. While you're standing there, degrees, degrees, degrees. I see degrees, and I hear education, education, and degrees. And I see a school, I see a school that's built up with young women, teaching them etiquette, fashion, things about womanhood. And the type of young ladies are young ladies that have been disengaged, disinherited, kind of been left alone. Some of them have babies and some of them don't. You're sensitive to that. And you feel like this is what God has given you to do, but you haven't been able to bring everything together and solidify it. But God told me to tell you he's going to give you favor. He's going to give you favor with people that are in a position to help bring this to pass. He's putting your name and your vision in the hearts of people that will be contributors and donators to help you to put this together. I want to come against the spirit of discouragement that came to discourage you from your pursuit and try to get you to just settle back into just mediocrity and just kind of go with the flow. You're not a go with the flow person. There's nothing about your constitution that's connected to that. That's an attempt of the enemy to get you to compromise. But God told me to tell you you're not a compromiser, but you are a transformer. And God has raised you up to transform atmospheres, lives, and culture. And that is the reason why you've been under the attack of attack. That you've been under mentally. Mentally seem like it's just, my God, is like more than I can bear. Look like things are not happening. They're not turning over. They're not working. Look like this thing falls by the time I get that propped up. I got to run back over here. But God told me to tell you, he allowed those things to temper you. To see if he can trust you with what it is he really wants to do with you. Because there are a lot of people out there that are not genuine. So God was fostering authenticity in your life so that you are not to do what it is that they're given to do. But if you lift your hand today, if you would do that, lift your hand. God told me to tell you that there's a grace and a glory that's going to settle in on you right now. It's coming down like a mist and like rain. And what's been hard is not going to be difficult anymore. And God's going to call those that said things about you. Those that left you and abandoned you, God's going to bless you in front of them, and then you're going to have to be a blessing to them. They're going to have to come to you, because you're going to be their bailout plan. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. God said, my 
my hand is on you. I haven't abandoned you. I just allowed you to go through this process. And he said this, and this is all I have to say. The delay has not been a denial. Come on, get down. I see you with vanity fair. Put your hands. I see you being blessed out of New York. I see God giving you connection with desire and fashions. It shall be your blessing. Don't wonder how. As you make it, you get to see. It's going to open up. I see a tall gentleman of another national. Fighting in you. We've never seen a proper sound. Comes from a Spanish background. Hello! Don't live in the south. He's in the north. In your career pursuit, yeah, I keep his bad fat. God's going to favor you. Yes. Always remember oh, oh, that you are a wealthy black woman. Woo! Yes. And when God gives you wealth, don't cheat. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes if people have money, they, they come and give a hundred dollars, so you give them a thousand. Looks over the city of Manhattan. Ow! Ow! Shut up! Oh. Oh. Trust you in there. Yeah, but I'm out. Oh. Oh. You're oh. safe. Oh. Would you wish the Lord? God says, "Open your heart to love again." Don't take the pain away. He said, "I'll never do it." Said to me, you gonna move it on the house. Woo! Hallelujah. She ain't gonna move by yourself. She'll have two homes. I don't want to hear that. And man, heard me so bad. He said, I don't want to see nobody. <laughs> and anytime I come to town, she'll come to church. <laughs> what did he say? But I kept saying, I see a tall yellow attacking man. Going to buy you a three store house. November, they took me there. Walked through it. Got pictures in my telephone. His name is Phil. Pentecostal boy. Spanish boy, Pentecostal. You know, folk can't get married to the wrong folk. They gotta bust it up.